Mahalo and welcome all gorgeous brown babies to this perfectly attuned transmutation entitled Be Brava Alive, Real is Respect. Now she will be practicing the personal growth skill set of stillness. Hello, Vipassana. Because she woke up woefully ill prepared with the Kardashian super scale tool of double sided tape. For any bitch who tries to emulate any of those looks, double sided tape. The live video paused for my morning alarm. Can you believe? She must be let. She must be prepared because she here is she ready before the alarm has gone off. My darlings, if you're going to make a cute look, just take your dress and put it on backwards. Okay, my darlings, real is respect. So a lot of my clients talk a lot about this idea. Well, Lucia Brizzi's client talk a lot about this idea of authenticity, and people stress over it. How real should you be? What is real even? Okay, cuties, real is integrity. Real is speaking our truth. And here we're going to talk about this distinction because when we are in the professional environment, when we are doing our art, when we are performing, when we are creating, when we are collaborating, when we are being entrepreneurs, can we ask the question, how am I here to serve? Please, how am I here to serve, my darlings? So when we talk about real, we're not talking about the wet dream fantasy of water sports of bachelorette cuties, okay, cuties? We're not just oversharing for the sake of like emotional intimacy and like, the thrill that's actually quite selfish okay cuties so you always see these cathartic moments my daughter's catharsis is a is a you game and i love it for you go to bar class cathart the fuck out of those thighs right cuties little low tuck moments you can be like catharting right there i don't want you catharting anywhere else in your life my daughters except when it's your own work okay cuties your catharsis is not a service i don't care how many like blog posts you read about your authenticity being a gift my darlings, if it's not framed in terms of how is this serving others, it's selfish, okay, cuties? It's selfish. And we need to be in the space of generosity. So we talk about real as respect. Why real as respect? Because when you're being not real, when you're putting on a mask or doing anything to navigate conversations that's not coming from alignment and integrity, we are all too damn smart. So we've moved out of the age of AI being the fascination. Okay, we're bored. We got it. Okay, we got it. You sent me targeted ads and it was like miraculous. And then I was like, wait, I am okay with not even knowing how that works. Like, how did you know I needed like a Swiffer, which I don't. So please don't give me ads for Swiffers or the worst products. It's called a mover. It's called a move my desk around. Okay, cuties, it don't, doesn't do anything. So my jars, give me an old school Hoover, please. Ads. Um, so we are moving out of the age of artificial intelligence and in, into the age of intelligence of artificiality my cuties have we noticed the uptick in improv style comedies okay cuties have we noticed the uptick in docu-series it is because my darlings we are noticing we cannot take acting anymore in the real life in the fake life in the instagram life in the gym in the supermarket or on the tvs okay cuties we are getting too damn smart and some might say oh but we've had a whole year of like no emotional intelligence my darlings have you ever stared so deeply at your own fucking boss? Have you ever looked so closely at your colleagues? No, because in the real world, we don't look at each other like just staring at each other. It's rude, okay, cuties? Hey, in Zooland, we've been staring at each other's micro expressions this whole damn time, noticing the eye rolls, okay? Noticing the, the eyebrow lifts. We actually have been watching TV OS <laughs> via Zooms for two years. Okay, Darius? So we are becoming more and more heightened awareness, more and more heightened awareness of what's real, what's not real. We know what a, a smile is put on. And my daughters, you cannot assume that other people aren't as smart as you. Stop assuming other people are not as smart as you. Anytime you cover, you are pretending that other people are eating your shit and they're not. Okay, cuties, she knows what's real and she knows what's fake. She can tell it's a cubix. Okay, cuties, she can tell that you are putting it on Pretending to be all sweet and charming when really you're stressed out as a motherfucker. Okay, cuties? So a lot of my clients will say like, okay, well, I should say this and I should say that. And we talk a lot about value behavior, right? A big tool of really honestly getting people aligned and on board with you is like really validating their strength and bringing them out and expressing that. Okay, cuties, that is a coaching super skill. But you can't fake it. And everyone wants to fucking fake it because they really like like walking and hating each other. Like... They like holding on to stories of like, well, that guy truly is an asshole, but let me 
uh, think of something I can say to him like, oh, it's really cool how you assert status and make everyone feel small. That's really cool. So darlings, you hear that? We're not going to do that fake shit. We're going to go into our own little psyche and we're going to find something that we can like about that guy that we hate. Who's driving us fucking crazy. Who's arrogant. And he's like, just like, he's a bully back ham. He's like roll over, pass out, die because he's like, can we get with the program, right? Can we be part of the culture change? No, we can't be. Okay, cuties. We all know that guy. Can we love him? Real is respect. And my darlings, as we are being real, we know that we will be sensing and knowing the appropriate level of share. So real is not oversharing. Real is just real. Who said that you got to give all your chips away? Okay, cuties. You can sit at the poker table holding all your cards to your chest and be real as a motherfucker. You can be real in what you share. You can be real on the level that you connect. And you can always find a place where you can connect. Okay, cuties? So they've done work on empathy. And they note that you don't have to have had the exact same experience as someone. It's actually more relevant, more meaningful to the other to just say, you know what? I know how that feels. You can always connect on that level with another human being no matter what. And you never have to share personally. There we go. Tension is a turnoff, my darlings. So re when we're not being real, we are performing and performance just smells bad. Truly. Okay, cuties? The difference between sweat from a workout and sweat from a stress, actually the sweat from stress is what smells bad. So if you're CrossFit buddy, who you're like trying to boo up, it's like not feeling you. It's maybe because you're not focused enough on being real in your workout and like authentically going for that shit. And you're more focused on like being cute and giving your performance and you're giving off the bad smell. So Dars, the animal kingdom knows real. Our biological beings know real. And real is trying to be cuties. As I spoke up, we're moving out of AI into intelligence of artificiality, which means ah, nature is trending, cuties. Body flush, air, so cute. Hashtagging air, it's trending. Water, wind, air, fire, so cool right now. Another thing, my darlings, Hinge did a little study, okay, cuties, and it was a study, it was a sample, like a experiment. And people had to put out, like, either withdraw or put out what they really wanted. So women would put out or men would put out, I'm really looking for an intimate, like, true, deep relationship. Okay, cuties? I'm looking for a long-term committed relationship. And what they found was 11% were turned off, right? Those who were not into a committed relationship, 11% less people were coming towards these people. 11% less people came to them. And those are all people who are not looking for a committed relationship. And 17% more people came to them who were looking for a relationship. So you're a filtration device, my darlings. Okay, cuties, you are a filtration device. And as you stand in your realness, you become an application. Okay, cuties. And if you get kicked out of certain Zooms and you get kicked into certain other Zooms and maybe you find it really is just not a fucking fit, how much better is it to be real and in alignment from the very beginning? than to surprise somebody with who you truly, truly really are and do a quick turnaround. Okay, cuties, that is where we get stuck in the muck of a life that we don't belong in. Okay, cuties, one degree out of integrity. There's a <clears throat> wonderful book on this, The Way of Integrity by Martha Back, and she speaks about no lies and taking a no lie, no lie commitment. And when you start to work with yourself, you start to realize the little lies you tell yourself because darlings, you are too smart, we are too smart, so stop fucking faking it on every level. That's all she wrote. Real is respect. So as you sent me the handbags and the jewelry and applied it to my boyfriend, just know real here. We're real here. And you might be asking, well, Talia, you're a character. You're a persona. You're not even fucking real. My darlings, this is the vehicle for reality. This is the vehicle for reality because Lucia's got too much shit in her way. Oh, they're going to think I'm not. They're gonna think I'm that. They're gonna think I think I'm that. No one's gonna think shit about who you think you fucking are. No one gives a fuck. It's valuable or it's not valuable. It's service or it's not, period. So shut up. Okay, darlings, that's all she wrote. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and join me for Build Your World. That was my alarm telling me I have to wake up again. So I guess it's time for CrossFit, the time when she truly wakes up and gets real. I love you so very much. All blessed brother babies. Join me for Build Your World. We're gonna take your big launch. We're gonna take your product, your baby, your little thing that you've been holding onto, your art project, your poem, bitches, and we're gonna put it out in the world. So it's seven weeks to launch your thing that you've been holding onto. 
And in that, build your fucking world and be brava. Put a dress on backwards. Get some double-sided tape today.